In this video, we are going to talk about looking for the tangent line, but as directed by the problem. In the previous video, I have uh, demonstrated how to get the tangent and normal line given a particular point and also the curve. Okay, so here we have a curve, but as directed by the problem, we had to find the tangent line parallel to the line x plus 2y is equal to 6. So what I did first is to graph the problem for us to have a clear view of what the problem looks like, for us to have a visualization. So we have here the ellipse, which has uh, the cent which has its center at the origin, and we have here this particular line, x plus 2y is equal to 6. Okay, so this is x plus 2y is equal to 6, and we have the ellipse, the equation is x squared plus 4y squared is equal to 8. Okay, so it says in the problem that the tangent line is parallel to the line x plus 2y is equal to 6. So we have x plus 2y is equal to 6. So if we will solve for the first derivative, so we have 1 plus 2y prime is equal to 0. y prime would be equal to negative 1 half. Then therefore, the slope of the parallel line is equal to negative 1 half. Now, since... The tangent line is parallel to the line x plus 2y is equal to 6. Then therefore, the tangent line, the slope of the tangent line, will also be negative 1 half. Okay? Slope of the tangent line will also be negative 1 half. Let me just rewrite that. Okay. So now that we know that the slope of the tangent line is equal to negative 1 half, the next step is to look for the point or points on this particular ellipse wherein your slope is equal to negative 1 half. So, we get our equation of the ellipse. We have x squared plus 4y squared is equal to 8. And let us solve for the derivative as well. So, we have 2x plus 8y y prime is equal to 0. 8y y prime would be equal to negative 2x. And y prime would be equal to negative 2x over 8y. So simplify that, you can cancel 8 divided by 2 is uh, equal to 4. So the equation of the slope would be negative x over 4y. So that is the equation of the slope of the ellipse. So as I've said, we want to know what particular point on this ellipse has the slope of negative 1 half. So we substitute negative 1 half to this equation. So we have negative 1 half, I'll continue here. Negative 1 half is equal to negative x over 4y. And we will arrive at uh, 4y is equal to 2x. Okay? Or we could just simply say x is equal to 2y. So when x is equal to 2y, your slope is equal to negative 1 half. So if we will uh, solve that particular case, if we will substitute that particular case to our, again, our ellipse, we have x squared plus 4y squared is equal to 8. And substitute this particular case, so we have quantity 2y squared plus 4y squared is equal to 8. This is also 4y squared, so I should have 8y squared is equal to 8. y squared is equal to 8, or is equal to 8 over 8, so that would be 1. That would be 1, and... The square root of 1 is plus and minus 1. So, we'll have uh, cases here. Let us first locate this point, y is equal to 1. Okay? So, when y is equal to 1, we'll have two values of x. Okay? This particular point and this particular point. But we are interested, of course, in this particular point. Okay? Why? Why not this point? Because we can already project that at this point, you will have a line, you will have a tangent line, which is not parallel to x plus 2y is equal to 6. But rather on this point, it is very plausible, as you can see in the problem, to have a tangent line, which is parallel to x plus 2y is equal to 6. So, we will consider x as the positive value. Also, if we will substitute this point, uh, no. So the easiest way to do that is substitute this particular equation. Okay, So first case, we have y is equal to positive 1. So let's just say first case, first case, y is equal to positive 1. 
and substitute that here x is equal to 2y so when y is equal to 1 therefore x is equal to 2 okay so as you can see here it's very prevalent in the problem that this particular point is actually 2 1 okay so next is we will use our uh, slope intercept form which is y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1 and substitute the case of uh, the particular point 2 1 and the slope is equal to negative 1 half so we have y minus 1 is equal to negative 1 half x minus 2 so if we will multiply 2 both sides of the equation we'll have 2y minus 2 and then this will be cancelled out right 2 divided by 2 is uh, negative 1 because of the negative here so we'll have negative x plus 2 okay so we'll have 2y plus x transpose this one so it will be minus 4 is equal to 0 so this is now our equation of the tangent line okay and we have another case the second case is when the second case is when y is equal to negative 1. So again, we use the equation of the slope that we have derived. x is equal to 2y. So x is equal to 2 times negative 1. And when y is equal to 1, x would be equal to negative 2. Okay? So if we go back to our problem here, so this is the point where y is equal to negative 1 okay so i'll just write also here y is equal to 1 and if we will look at this particular point again we can already project that drawing a tangent line here would not produce a tangent line which is parallel to this line but rather at this particular point which is uh, negative 2 negative 1 okay we will have a line which is parallel to x plus 2y is equal to 6 so Again, let's use our uh, slope point form. So we'll have y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. And the point that uh, we will substitute there is the point uh, negative 2, negative 1. And slope is equal to negative 1 half. Okay, so we have y plus 1 is equal to the slope, negative 1 half and then x plus 2. So again, let's multiply 2. So we'll have 2y plus 2. Again, this will be negative 1. So negative x minus 2. So 2y plus x plus 4 is equal to 0. So these two, two lines are the line that we are looking for, which is tangent to the, tangent to the ellipse, okay, at points 2, 1, and 2, negative 1, and those two lines are parallel to the line x plus 2y is equal to 6. And if we are to graph, no? if we are to graph the problem, okay, so I use a grapher here, we can clearly see that we have produced two lines, no? two lines that are parallel to this particular line, which is... Uh, x plus 2y is equal to 6. Let me just check. x plus 2y is equal to 6. x plus 2y is equal to 6. Now, this yellow line here would represent 2y plus x minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay. And this green line here is the line 2y plus x plus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, so you can use a grapher to actually verify your answers if they are correct. Next problem. So next problem, we have a parabola. Y squared is equal to 6x minus 3. So this is that one. Y squared is equal to 6x minus 3. And we have to find the tangent line, which is perpendicular to the line x plus 3y is equal to 7. So ito naman yun. x plus 3y is is equal to 7. So, in the previous example, we have a parallel line to the tangent line. Here, we have a perpendicular line to the tangent line. So, what does that, what, what would that tell us? Mean to say, the slope of this line 
uh, negative reciprocal of this uh, slope of x plus 3y is equal to 7. Okay, so let's first solve for the slope of x plus 3y is equal to 7. Okay, so have y plus 1, I mean 1 plus 3y prime is equal to 0. And 3y prime would be equal to negative 1. Therefore, y prime would be equal to negative 1 third. So that would be, that, that is the slope of this line. So therefore, the slope of your tangent line is the negative reciprocal since they are perpendicular to each other. So the slope would now be equal to 3. Okay, that's the slope of your tangent line. So the next step is to find what would be the point on this parabola, what would be the point or points that would have the slope that is equal to 3. Okay, so similar to what we did with the first problem, we get our equation of the curve, in this case a parabola, y squared is equal to 6x minus 3, and we will solve for the first derivative. So we have 2yy prime here is equal to 6, so y prime would be equal to 6 over 2y. 6 over 2y, or that would be 3 over y. So that is your uh, equation of the slope. And you are looking for the point wherein your slope is equal to 3. So let us substitute. 3 is equal to 3 over y. So what we'll have here is equal to this would be 3y is equal to 3 and therefore y would be equal to 1. So when y is equal to 1, so let's locate that first, y is equal to 1. So this is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so this is 1, okay? So when y is equal to 1, so this particular point, okay? That is the point that we are looking for. That is the particular point on the parabola, okay? That particular point would have a slope of 3, okay? So let us solve what is that particular point. So let's go back to our equation of the parabola. We have y squared is equal to 6x minus 3. And we have to solve when y is equal to 1, what would be your x, okay? So you have 1 squared here is equal to 6x minus 3. Therefore, 6x would be equal to 4, and x would be equal to 4 over 6, or simply 2 thirds. So the point that uh, the point that we have solved is 2 thirds 1. So at this particular point, your slope is equal to 3. So again, let us go back to our slope point form. Okay and substitute this particular case. So we have y minus 1 is equal to 3 times x minus 2 thirds. Okay? So we have uh, y minus 1 is equal to 3x minus, so we have uh, 2 thirds times 3, so that would simply be equal to 2. Okay? 3 will be cancelled out. So again, let's equate everything to 0. So we have y minus 3x, and then this will be plus 2, so we'll be left with plus 1. So this is the equation of the tangent line that we are looking for. And if we are to graph, we paste the graph here, we have to graph that. So what we can see here in our graph, is we have this red line okay this red line is your tangent line which is y minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0 okay so that is the line that is perpendicular to the given line which is uh, x plus 3y is equal to 7 okay so this is your x plus 3y is equal to 7 and this is your parabola which is uh, y squared minus uh, y squared is equal to 6x minus 3. Okay, so again, if you are to graph the problem, you can clearly verify that you have solved the correct equation. So last problem in this uh, lecture video, we have if the cubic y is equal to ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, 
pass through points 0, negative 6 and 1, negative 2 and tangent to the line x 3x minus y is equal to 6 at 2, 0 what is the equation of the cubic? so parang this is uh, somewhat in reverse of what we have been solving so we're given here a line so the equation is 3x minus y is equal to 6 and we're also given points of the cubic line and we have to produce the curve no? in this particular case a cubic y is equal to ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d so this problem is uh, asking us what would be a b c and d so if we are if we will know those then we are to solve the problem so let us identify the points here first we have 0 negative 6 okay so that would be somewhere here 0 negative 6 okay so that is 0 negative 6 and then we have uh, 1 negative 2 so we have 1 and then negative 2 so this is 1 this is negative 2 so these are points on the uh, no, uh, these are points on the cubic 1 negative 2 and we have 2 0 so it's tangent to this line at this particular point so this 2 0 is also a point on our cubic so 2 0 would be this one okay so this is 2 0 okay so if first we have 0 6 and 1 negative 1 negative 2 belong to the cubic then therefore we could substitute no we could substitute those points those two points and actually also this point to this equation so we have at at 0 negative 6 no we have y is equal to ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d okay so meaning to say x is equal to 0 and y would be equal to negative 6 so we have negative 6 so if x is 0 so all of these terms would be 0 right 0 cubed d times 0 squared c times 0 plus d so we already have an answer for d so d is equal to negative 6 okay so check na to so i circle it out so that i could be notified that it's already solved so next let's say at 1 negative 2 at 1 negative 2 so x is 1 while y is equal to negative 2 so again we have y is equal to ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d okay so negative 2 is equal to a times 1 cubed b times 1 squared plus c times 1 plus d now d we have already solved for that so that is negative 6 so let's simplify we have negative 2 is equal to a plus b plus c minus 6 if we are to transpose this we will have 4 is equal to a plus b plus c so let that let this equation be you now let this equation be let's say equation number one okay so we have other points we have uh, it is tangent to the line at this particular point to zero so we could also substitute for that okay so we have at at 2 0 so we have x is equal to 2 while y is equal to 0 so we have again our cubic equation y is equal to ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx so we can already say that this is minus 6 because we have already solved for that so when y is uh, 0 your x is equal to 2 so we have a times 2 cubed plus 2 squared b times 2 squared c times 2 minus 6 so we have 6 is equal to 8a plus 4b plus 2c and we could simplify this because all of these are multiples of 2 
okay so we could multiply one half and we'll have three is equal to four a plus two b plus c and we could use this as our equation number two so we have another we need another equation as you can see here we have two unknowns uh, three unknowns so we need another equation so where will we get that we will get that from the fact that it is tangent this cubic line is tangent to the line 3x minus y is equal to 6 meaning to say at the point 2 0 okay at point 2 0 this cubic line would have the same slope as this line okay so first what is the slope at or what is the slope of 3x minus y is equal to 6 so let's continue that so 3x minus y is equal to 6 that is our equation let me just verify 3x minus y is equal to 6 so if we are to solve for the slope so let's solve for the first derivative we have 3 minus y prime is equal to 0 y prime is equal to 3 so we have the slope of the line is 3 so we can also say that the slope of the cubic y is equal to ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d or in this case minus 6 no if we are to solve for the slope of this one then therefore we should substitute 3 for the first derivative so let's do that we have y prime is equal to 3a x squared plus 2bx plus c okay and we are looking for the slope when it is also equal to 3 because sabi dun sa problem no sabi sa problem says stressing the problem that it is tangent to this line at this point so therefore whatever is the slope of this line is also the slope at 2 0 okay so 3 is equal to 3a x squared plus 2bx plus c and then at point 2 0 the slope is 3 so we can also substitute the fact that when x is equal to 2 okay when x is equal to 2 the slope is 3 so we have 3 is equal to 3a times 2 squared plus 2b times 2 plus c so simplify we have 3 is equal to so this will be 4 times 3 so that is 12a plus this will be 4b 4b plus c okay so this is now our equation number equation number 3 So we have three equations. Let me just write them down. We have this equation 3 and we also have equation 2. 4a plus 2b plus c. This is our equation 2. And our equation 1. 4 is equal to a plus b plus c. 4 is equal to a plus b plus c. So this is our equation number 1. So we will use a little bit of algebra here. For us to solve the values of a b and c so let us say first now so this could this could have a lot of combinations so it's up to you whether you will follow this uh, step that I'll be doing so I, what I would like to do here first is I would subtract equation 2 to equation 1 or equation 1 to equation 2 so we have 4 is equal to a plus b plus c minus this equation equation number 2 so if we are to subtract, then let's multiply negative 1 here. So we'll have 3 is equal to negative 4a minus 2b minus c. So what is my purpose of that? Okay, my purpose in doing that is I could now cancel c. Okay, so I have 1 is equal to, so this will become negative uh, 3a minus b. So I have an equation which has a and b as its uh, variables. So let's say that this is my this is my equation number five. Okay, equation number five, a and b are the variables. So the next step that I would do is again produce another equation which has a and b as the variable. So I have combined equation one and two here. Equation one and two. Okay, so what I would want to do is also subtract equation. 2 and equation 3 from each other so 
we have again 3 is equal to 12a plus 4b plus c. So if we will multiply again negative to our equation number 2, this will be negative 3 minus 4a minus 2b minus c. And if I will add, I will again cancel, no? cancel c. So this is 0 is equal to 8a plus 2b. So this is my equation number 6. But it, ha it now has two unknowns, a and b, and this one also has two unknowns, a and b. So what I'll do here is I will multiply 2 to equation 5 because this is 2b and I also want to make this 2b. So multiply, multiply 2 here, it will become 2 is equal to, again, huh, let's multiply 2. So this is negative 6a, multiply 2 minus 2b. So add them together. B will cancel out, so we have 2, and then 8a minus 6a is 2a, so therefore a is equal to 1. Okay, so what I now have is, I have again another variable solved, so a is equal to 1. So let me just check that here, a is equal to 1, so b and c na lang yung kulang natin. And we have already equation 5 and equation 6, which has uh, equations in both variables a and b. So just choose one. Let's say I chose equation number 5. So from equation number 5, I have 1 is equal to negative 3a minus b and substitute 1 to a. So uh, 1 is equal to negative 3 minus b and therefore b would be equal to, so let's say I transpose b here. And it will become positive. I transpose negative uh, 1 here, so it will become negative. So b would be equal to negative 4. Okay? And then last, c na lang yung kailangan natin. I could use my uh, equation number 1, which is the simplest equation. 4 is equal to a plus b plus c. So equation number 1, we have 4 is equal to a plus b plus c to solve for c. So we have 4 is equal to a is 1, b is negative 4, plus c. So c would be equal to, so let's just, uh, 4 minus 1, uh, 1 minus 4 is negative 3. So if I will transpose that, c would be equal to 7. Okay? So I now have the values of a, b, and c. Now, what can I do to check? Now, what can I do to check? I would simply, what I can do is to simply choose one of the equation here, equation 1, 2, and 3. No? So let's say I chose equation number 3. 3 is equal to 12a. B is equal to 12a plus 4b plus c to verify whether my answers are correct. Okay, so, so we have 3 is equal to 12, a is 1 b is 4, so 4 times negative 4, and c is 7, so plus 7. So we have 12 minus 16 plus 7, so is it equal to 3? So we have 12 minus 6, so this 16, I mean 12 minus 16 is equal to uh, negative 4. So negative 4 plus 7 is 3. Also, I could also graph, no? and my cubic equation would be now, so I have y is equal to x cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. So my cubic equation is y is equal to ax cubed, so a is 1, so therefore x cubed, bx squared, so minus 4, 4x squared, and then c is 7, so plus 7x minus 6. Now, as I've said, if I will graph that, I would have this graph, no? So just uh, expand it a bit. So this green line is your equation of the cubic, which is uh, y is equal to x cubed minus 4x squared plus 7x, no? Plus 7x plus 6. This is the line that uh, is given in the problem. 
which is uh, 3x minus y is equal to 6. Just write it down. 3x minus y is equal to 6. And as you can see here, you can see here this point, 2, 0. That is the line that is uh, the point where the line 3x minus y is equal to 6 is tangent to the cubic line. So I hope you have learned something from watching this video. And uh, thank you for watching.